Hey, welcome to Technophobics Anonymous. Uh, my name is Randy Velker. I'll be your therapist today. Um, right now we're going to be looking at uh, a little bit of the Windows environment. What Windows are? You've probably heard Windows used over and over again. Um, anyway, it's, it's a very uh, useful um, program, product. It's used in the Macintosh um, computers. It's also used in the uh, Microsoft uh, stuff as well, but you're going to have to get familiar with how Windows work. Um, basically, um, if you have a sheet of paper and you're looking at it and you have put another sheet of paper on top of it, um, or maybe even you have a stack of papers, five, six, seven of them, all you can really see is the top one. That would be the active window that you're looking at. If you take that top window and slide it to the bottom, now there's a different one that's on the top a different one that you're looking at. That's exactly how Windows works. It's like a stack of programs and the one that's on top is the one that you can see. And there are other programs that are layered underneath it that you can pull to the forefront. Now let's take a closer look. <clears throat> Here you can see um, <clears throat> on the desktop that uh, you know we have all of our icons on the left hand side and along the bottom there are a bunch of different documents that I have and pro that I have running and different programs that are running right? one of them is uh, a notepad program right? that's right here uh, another one if I click it is going to be right here notice I can completely cover up that other um, program that other sheet with this one here I don't know where it is uh, I can't see it currently um, now, the way that I'm moving these programs around is by single clicking, one click with the left uh, button on the mouse and holding it down and then I can drag um, a window or a program around. Right? It's better when I layer them to leave a little bit of space between the two so that I know there's something underneath that's being covered up. Now let's go ahead and pull another window up here as well. Here's a third file. All three of these files uh, are now uh, three separate windows. Uh, I've made them smaller here so you can see them. But they're three separate windows that I can move around by uh, clicking on the blue area, area uh, of the program and then just dragging them wherever I want to put them so I can uh, move them around on top on my desktop. Um, <clears throat> now any one of these windows that is colored is the one that's on top. Right? And I can make this larger by going to the edge of it and then left clicking the mouse button and dragging. Right? Uh, anytime you see this little uh, arrow that pops up on the side of a program, it'll normally happen on the side, on the bottom, or in the corners. Right? Uh, then you can increase the size or decrease the size of that window whatever it is you're interested in doing in order to make it easy. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to have three different programs. Now, we have three programs open, open simultaneously. The only one that I can really see is this one right here because it's the active window or the open window. If I want to get one of the other windows up top, uh, I can click on it right, anywhere on that window and now it has popped up to be the one on the, on the surface. Um, this one that was down on the third uh, at the very bottom, I can click that one and now it's up at the very top as well. Now, if I stack these up, uh, notice what happens. Ooh, there's, there's one dragged in there. All right. I can put them directly on top of each other and uh, then it will completely cover up the uh, windows that are behind it. Now, ideally, I want to leave the windows behind showing a little bit so that I can have access to them. All right? uh, uh, normally they're going to be, if not the complete size of the whole uh, monitor, but they're going to be larger than these. These are just smaller ones so that you can see how windows actually work and how you can use them. Again, you left click on the top uh, where there's a color in this area up here, it's colored blue, and then you can drag it around. Um, so windows are very useful. You can have five, six, seven, 10 programs open simultaneously running and what you can do is you can copy all the text from this one and bring it right on up over here and 
paste it in this one. You can mix and match, go back and forth. Um, and it's very useful the way these windows work. Um, <clears throat> Now, the other thing that I was going to show you is just by looking at one of these windows, let's drag it down so you think there's only one of them available. Also, I can get these windows out of, uh, off of the desktop just by hitting the Minimize button. All right. uh, now, when I hit the Minimize button, remember what happens? They drop down onto my taskbar where all the programs that I have open are, um, are hiding in, in a very real sense. Um, we'll pop this down here, and then I'll bring it right back up so you can see how that works. Now, right, here's the program. If I want to know how any program works, I already showed you how to maximize it or minimize the footprint of the program. Uh, up here in the right-hand corner is how you close a program down. You click this X button, and it'll shut it right down. You click the Minimize button, the little line in the middle, and it'll... Um, take it and minimize it down into the taskbar. So it's just a button down there. When you click that button down there, it'll pop it back up. This maximize button looks like a, it's called maximize. If you hover over it, it'll say maximize next to it. Um, that will make it take up the whole screen. Right? If you don't want it to take up the whole screen, you can uh, click on this button here, which is restore down. It moves it back to the size that it was previously. <clears throat> Uh, now, these um, up in the upper left hand corner is normally all of the different things that we can do with this program. All right? We can open up a new uh, file, uh, we can open up an existing file, open a brand new file, we can save it, uh, we can print it. Uh, if I click the print button, uh, it will pop up a bunch of different options. These are all the printers that I have in here. It's going to ask you to choose one. How many copies do you want? And you click print or cancel, that kind of thing. So once it's set up, underneath the file uh, button here, it's how you're going to be able to exit. You can exit from here as well or you know, print it, that kind of thing. In the edit button, uh, this is where you're going to be doing something in the program. Uh, you're going to be cutting, uh, copying, uh, pasting, finding words in there. Whatever it is you're going to be doing is going to be in one of these buttons up here on the top. Um, if you want to format things, it, it's included in here. Uh, anyway, every program that you use in, uh, in your computer is going to be set up basically the same way, with, a shut, with, a, with an off button up in the upper right-hand corner and with uh, helpful little menus up here with all the different things you can do with the program, including a help uh, button. So if you are unsure exactly how a program works, then you're going to click on this help button up here, and uh, you can start searching through the help topics. It'll pop up there, and you can see if you can find how to do what you want to do. Um, this program that I'm looking at here specifically is Notepad, um, and so it's uh, got a bunch of different little options and uh, questions. How do I um, do spell checking, for instance? And then you'll type in um, what you want to uh, uh, find, and hopefully it'll pop up there and show you how to do it. All right. Now I'm going to click out of this help button here, but um, this is the way that all programs. Uh, nowadays are set up with menus in the upper left so that you can figure out how to run the program uh, and, a, and a close button in the upper right. Um, it's nice that all programs are designed the same way because once you're familiar with how to use one of these programs it's interchangeable across all the different programs. Um, <clears throat> all right, I, I hope you've enjoyed um, learning a little bit about Windows. Now I want you to go in there um, and explore and play with a few different programs with the windows, popping some to the top, moving them underneath, minimizing them, maximizing them, uh, and uh, <clears throat> we'll see you next time.